My name is Achilles Papavasilio. Uh, I'm a neurosurgeon at Neurosurgeons of Cape Cod. I've been in practice for 10 years and currently board certified. One of the more common things that we see are people with cervical disc herniations. The, the cervical spine is the, basically what makes up your neck. Um, so if someone has a herniated disc in their neck, they'll often present with pain in the neck that will radiate down the arm. And depending on which disc it is, they'll go to a certain part of your arm. So we'll often know where the problem is just by where the pain goes. But everyone really comes to see us with an MRI scan, which really defines the problem. The, the, the treatment options for a cervical disc herniation vary. If the disc herniates and presses on the spinal cord, then that's more of an urgent surgery because we're trying to address the pressure on the spinal cord and prevent paralysis. If the disc herniation is off to the side of the spine and just compressing a nerve that goes down your arm, then there are a lot of treatment options available. Uh, physical therapy can be a good option, cortisone shots, uh, and lastly, surgery. Uh, but typically, we try the non-operative options first. If the non-operative treatments do not work, then surgery is a very good option to alleviate persistent pain in the neck and the arm from the disc that's pressing on the nerve. Uh, the way we do the surgery is basically we ex expose the spine. So um, this is a, a model of the spine here. This shows the, the bones and the discs between the bones. The disc is like the shock absorber for the spine. So the outer part of the disc is, is firm and the inner part is soft. As you get older, the the outer part of this can crack or fissure, and then the soft material can herniate out, and if it hits the nerve, it causes pain down the arm. If the, the non-operative treatments don't work, then what we can do surgically is go in and remove that disc. And we typically remove the disc in its entirety uh, and take the pressure off the nerve. If there is pressure on the spinal cord, we take the pressure off the spinal cord as well. Then we put a spacer in the disc where the disc used to be, and that involves a, a fusion typically where we put a bone spacer in there. So these bones where the disc used to be will grow together. And we'll often put a little titanium plate to hold the disc in place. And that's called a anterior cervical discectomy infusion. And it's a very good procedure for persistent pain uh, if the non-operative treatments don't work. About 90% of people get good relief for their pain. Uh, usually involves an overnight stay in the hospital, but people are usually back to work in six to eight weeks.